today I will show you how to make an icosahedron out of buckyballs. If you don't know what buckyballs is, it's basically these little magnetic balls that basically stick together and you can make all sorts of stuff with it. Like a few days ago I only have like this many, but now I had like a whole new bunch just shipped in. So I guess I'll show you a few tutorials about how to make buckyballs. I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm just doing it. So first first tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make an icosahedron. An icosahedron should be one of the most basic things you should learn when making buckyball shapes. If you have bought uh, any buckyballs, there should be a manual that tells you how to make icosahedrons. But in case there aren't any manuals, I'll be show here showing you how to make icosahedrons. So first, you will have to yeah, at least find a flat surface all around, a big flat surface, without any metal things around. Because if there's metal things, it might um, just pull apart your whole, whole masterpiece and you will be sad. So first things first, you have to find nine pieces, nine pieces of buckyballs, put them into a circle, and then you see right here. So two, you um, press on two blocks. Okay, I'm speaking Minecraftish blocks. Okay, you press on two of the um, bucky balls, and then you don't press on this, but you skip that one, and then press two more, and then you skip this one, and you press this one. So you press it in, and then you will have a four by four triangle. So that's how you make a four four by four triangle. If um, 4 by 4 triangles and 3 by 3 triangles. 3 by 3 triangles, I will tell you later how to make them because um, you can make different size icosahedrons. You can make small icosahedrons and big icosahedrons. But today, I will be just showing you the big icosahedron because that's the basic. That's the basic. So you see 9 more and then find the pieces. Press. 4x4 four four triangle and then you do this you basically do this until you have like 20 of these triangle yes it's a lot but if you want a nice old icosahedron hanging over your head every time you sleep like a true nerd well you have to have 20 triangles so um, for this build, you have to have at least um, 150, I'm pretty sure, of these little dudes. So, see? You have it 20 triangles so now when you do have the 20 triangles you have to first pick up one triangle and then select another see and then you will have to put them together and if that happens that means you have to turn it over but you have to reform this one again yeah. see now yeah, now it pulls together. If you if you feel actually pulling towards each other, that means you got it right. That means you got it right. That means, see, you have to have it like this. So now you have to keep adding triangles onto this thing, like so. See, this one's stuck. And like so. Do it like a circle. Do it like a hexagon. See if that if that happens, it doesn't want to stick to the right position. Have to try to pry it off and don't like hurt the whole structure because if the whole structure got hurt because of this, like like seriously, you're you're not gonna be happy because you spend all these hard work just for this to mess up. But bucky balls are like this. You have to have patience. Buckyball. So now when you have five, 
gonna try to gently push this together and you'll make kind of a cone pentagon yes so now you will have to have two of them you have to try to stick one right here okay yeah thank god that one stick and then one right okay that that one didn't stick i have to turn that one over and then do it again now it sticks now i need to do it for all the sides i need to do it for all the sides until i have some sort of star you can leave this like that you can just leave this like that you can you can give this to your sister or or mother telling uh, telling them like this is patrick or like this is just a, I, I i took a star down from the heavens but if you want an icosahedron uh, like me you will want to keep it doing it further so you see these two you will have to connect these two right here and then you have to push these two together and then same goes for right here connect those and then you push it like this so basically what you want to do is uh, get a whole ring get a whole ring of um, triangles around the top of the, the hexagon so so what you want is a ring or around the top so see right here this doesn't fit so i have to do that push this together see the ring is almost finished and if the ring is almost finished so two more spaces to fill two more spaces to fill and sometimes it deforms when you put it on there and that's sad so now, see, there's one more space I have to fill. And I have to put this triangle. have to put this. Oh my god, seriously. Sometimes, okay, I put it in this space right here. And push it in. And see, you have some sort of bowl thingy. So now you have to get, uh, get this pentagon and then put it right here same goes for like every single tri triangle every single thing if it doesn't want you to um put it on there you, you have to switch your side and in this case i'll just demonstrate it for you if the um if the buckyballs doesn't want to be fit in there you will have to put your nail inside here split it and then bend it the other way and then make it another pentagon but in this case we are totally okay with the other formation so we'll put it right on top here ta-da a good one I, I, I close the key drawn but a lot of a lot of normal dudes would just call this a sphere but i mean i'm a nerd so I close the hedron it is because every side is a triangle and there's 20 triangle sides so there you have it uh good old I close the hedron so also this is how you make a three-sided triangle so you get six pieces you get six pieces of these and then push these ones together to make a three-sided so you can do the same thing you have to make 20 of these and then you can make a smaller sized icosahedron so this is the tutorial for today thank you guys for watching and uh, comment down below to tell me if you want more of these videos because i do know a lot more of these um shapes that i could make so thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.